Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Keeper RL. My minions welcome you. <laughs> Ooh, we have an ogre. Oh, I'm super stoked. I'm so glad to be back. Hey, this is looking pretty good. We did a really good job on designing these rooms. I'm really really pleased with it actually the library looks awesome when we expand it out it's look, gonna look great our treasure room is gonna look amazing once we get some treasure in here <laughs> and of course some thrones and whatever you know the statues and stuff that's gonna look really cool i'm not sure what i had planned for this <laughs> i'm not sure my just a really interesting entrance way i wish it was more ways to dress up your dungeon and make it look cool but yeah, um, and of course our training room is coming along. Um, we kind of, we leveled it out, made it look nice. And some of you were asking why I haven't made this full size yet is because the game gives you, like creatures come and join your dungeon based on what you have built in your dungeon. So if we have, if we have a really, really big manufactory, we're going to get a lot of goblins. And if we're, if we have a really big, um, uh, training room we're gonna get a lot of ogres and orcs and of course we want a lot of og ogres and orcs because they're really they can be really powerful later on with the great weaponry and all that kind of stuff however um if if we make our training room too big at the beginning that's all we'll get we won't get any goblins we won't get any um you know uh shamans or anything like that and we want to make sure that we get a nice balance of creatures when they come in so yeah that's kind of why we do that and and i am going to expand this out later once we get enough creatures but right now we're good. I'm happy with that because I kind of do want a couple shamans because our keeper is going to be working out of the, like, he's going to be training for most of this. He's actually going to be a warrior. Um, I want him in the training room instead of the library. Therefore, I actually want more shamans for this. Uh, shamans and vampires can also be in here too as well. Seems like kind of a waste for a vampire, but I don't know. I kind of It's kind of fitting to be, to be I don't know, a vampire in a library. I don't know. It's kind of fitting. Um, so I'm actually going to expand this out a little bit because, of course, I would prefer shamans in here. Although it'd be kind of cool. be kind of cool to see shamans out in the battlefield too as well because they can be trained up and uh, they can use spells. They are magic users. So that's kind of cool. I was looking at our prison here and it... The reason we haven't finished it is because, lo and behold, we're out of iron ore. So, let's see. I did see some iron ore on the map. Yeah, there's some here and some here. And uh, this stuff here might be a little dangerous because, of course, we've got some question mark events. And I'm not... I don't feel quite confident yet that we're ready for that. We need some more weapons and maybe a few more big creatures. We're going to we're gonna do some naming here in a minute. But let's get our guys digging up some of this iron first. So, we're just going to expand here. Should be pretty safe to do so here. I don't see anything. Ugh. Ah! Can't can't do this today. <laughs> um, yeah, so if like getting this iron ore might be a little bit dangerous. Getting this might be a little bit dangerous because of all these question mark events. And we're not gonna move over there quite yet. Maybe soon, because we're starting to get a few of the, you know, like orcs and ogres, enough to be able to maybe deal with some of that stuff. But you never know, it could be like a cyclops. I think it was cyclops. Uh, is it Cyclops that you get in the underground? I don't remember, but yeah, you can, there's a few creatures that are a little too tough for you. And once you've opened it, like once you've opened Pandora's box, you cannot close it. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, with a lot of these things, like once you've exposed, I don't remember if it was a Cyclops or not an ogre. I don't remember what it was you can find in these, in these question marks. But once you've made them aware that you exist, they continue to attack until... Yeah, until the end, that's it. So, or until you kill them, right? So we will make that happen, but not quite yet. I wasn't quite ready. So yeah, they can do that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a storage area. We're gonna put an, uh, no, not an equipment, uh, resource area right here. So these guys have a place to put some resources again. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I really wanna get this stuff too. I just, I, I love getting all the resources at the beginning. That way I know what I need to work for. Um, like when you're attacking, when you're attacking the enemies, sometimes they have resources and I would choose to decide to attack certain enemies based on the resources they have. You know what I mean? But anyway, whatever. So our mimps will gradually start to work on that. I think they were getting some wood. Oh, we're good for wood. We're good for granite. And of course, we're going to need mana, but shamans, shamans. Hopefully we can get some shamans. Uh, what do we need? Oh, hold on. The library, uh, wood. Yeah, so what are imps doing, actually? Like, are they just sitting around? No, they're not sitting around. Ah, they're gathering wood. That's fine. I'll let them just finish off this little area, and then they should start to work on this other stuff. In the meantime, let's name some guys. All right, so our keeper, we have one goblin. 
one singular lonely goblin and let's see goblins are of course they work in the manufacturers and stuff they can be they can be trained um so you can't actually set them to train they can do a number of different things but they're best their their skills are best suited for working in like the laboratory or the jeweler or something like that so uh they're they're an indoor they're an indoor creature but whatever <laughs> very very important we're gonna rename this goblin let's see i've got my list here um as a matter of fact i'll be right back i'll be right back Okay, we're all ready to go here. So our goblin's name is Space Hitler. I do not make these names. Uh, you guys make them for me. So, hey, whatever. All right. And our imps are the same as last time. So Lord Steven Satai Tass. He actually spelled it out phonetically for me so I could say it. But I don't know if I, I, don't know if I said it right. Capitalism. Last Cow Wick. Uh, King Imp the Second. Turtle Time. Red Hills. And our new ogre is, of course, Shrek. Shrek. Yes, Shrek. Uh, yes, somebody came up with the, of course, Shrek for an ogre. Yeah, makes sense. All right. And uh, Orc. Uh, orcs, are, we have uh, Metal Knight from last time, Yon0131 from last time, and now our new ones are Sam is Not Real and Gotcha Nexus, and of course our wolf is Dirty Dan. Dirty Dan the Wolf. Great name for a wolf. Okay, so perfect. And away we go. Let's put this back on, and let's, uh, yeah, so our imps, uh, should we play this on slow? Let's put it on normal speed so that we can, uh, you know, do as much as possible. And actually, while we're here... Hmm. What's our, hold on. What's our keeper at? Our keeper is now at level 12. He's actually moving along really nicely. How, can, can we afford to get anything? Can we, oh, no, we can't. Um, so what I was thinking is that we could actually start bringing in some bandits to uh, raise the level of our guys. And uh, yeah, it's kind of hard on the doors, but that's okay. Hard on the imps too. So <laughs> um, let's wait until the imps are done with all the stuff outside. Yeah, so let's just continue on with that. Now, why I say that is because... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a treasure chest. And we'll build it, of course, in our treasure room. We're going to build three treasure chests. <laughs> three magical treasure chests. Now, the downside to building a treasure chest is that um, it can hold all the gold. In other words, one treasure chest, theoretically, you could put unlimited gold in. Now, once you build a treasure chest and you start accumulating gold, that's when bandits come and they want to start taking your money. And uh, if... If we, if the imps are in and out of the building, uh, all, and this, oh, sorry, getting the bandits to come after you is actually great because it's a good opportunity for your creatures to get some real hard combat experience. Um, the downside is if your imps are working outside, the amp, uh, the bandits will like eat the imps. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe they actually do literally eat the imps. They're like, no, blah, 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 blah. yeah, I don't know. But anyway, so we're just going to wait until the imps are done and actually putting this little resource area here is speeding up that whole process too as well. And in the meantime, we could actually plan out some of our other stuff, maybe even get some torches going on in the rest of our dungeon because that's going to be, uh, it's really dark. <laughs> it's really, really dark in here. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, sides are fine. And so it's totally random where the torch gets placed when you do this, right? So every time I click, if I'm in the same exact spot, it'll it'll randomly place that torch. It's so weird. I think it's totally random. I could be totally wrong, but it seems like if I don't move my mouse, it just it keeps changing the position. Yeah, see? Look at that. So it is, I think it's totally random. Unless, I don't know, maybe it's just super sensitive. I have no idea. And one torch there. Oh, look. Oh, uh, what? I don't know what the... What is the imp doing? In, oh, he's building the... Uh, Ah, cool. He's here to build the rest of the library. Fantastic. Maybe we'll get some shamans in here. That would be really great. Yeah, like I said, shamans, uh, they can be used for combat, so you can train them up, which is great, except um, they can also work in the library. So in this situation where we're going to be spending a lot of time in the library ourselves as the keeper, uh, somebody was saying that I got the doors wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. It looks like I got the doors wrong on this one. All right, so what we'll do here, uh, well, I didn't actually I didn't screw it up. It's just a I should have put the door here, not here. Okay, so let's move that. Yeah. You guys are so awesome. You guys, you know, <laughs> remind me when I make mistakes. And that's okay. I like that. I need that, actually. <laughs> if people don't tell me where I make mistakes, then I, a lot of times I don't even know. So great. Some doors. Awesome. They're in the right spots now. And, of course, the boulder traps are going to go here. I don't want to put down the boulder traps quite yet. Because it... Uh, really, you could spend the entire game building traps. Uh, and... Uh, just uh, right now, I'm more concerned about my guys building uh, first aid kits and and some weapons for our first few guys here. Like, as soon as our ogre has a weapon, like, he will become very effective. Let's let's actually look at the ogre uh, just really quickly. It's hard to see when he's moving around so much. Ah, stop it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the ogre gets plus six un unarmed attack, but he also, like the orcs, has a weapon melee skill, which means he's really good with a weapon. Um, the downside side is they're, they're, you know, they're soft targets. Like, they get hit, and they get hard, hit hard. Um, 
defense 20 until they get some armor. So that's the other thing. We need to get some armor going too as well. Whoops. Um, the orcs, uh, does anybody have any weapons yet? I don't think so. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. We got a club, ooh, leather, chain, iron? Where did it get all that stuff? Did we find that? That's crazy. We didn't build that already. Well, maybe we did actually out of our out of our uh, little uh, uh, smithing room. That's crazy. Okay, let's put some lights in there. That'll improve the, the efficiency in here too as well. So that's important. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so installations, torch. I wish there was a hotkey. There might actually be a hotkey to go directly to, um, you know, like torch, but I, I don't know what it is. I, could, I suppose I could hit... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to try to figure it out right now. I do like hotkeys, but um, sometimes I forget them, so it's not all that important. <laughs> Get a couple in there, and good. And let's do some... We should do some eyes in these hallways, too. By eyes, I mean these guys, the eyeballs. Now, the problem is they cost 10 mana to put down, and they, they, they give a sight as to what's going on. So, in other words, I can put an eyeball here, and we can see this area at all times. We could actually put one right in the center. We could see who's coming. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> uh, and we'll do an eye here for sure because we can't do a boulder trap there. Perfect. And then we can see what's going on there. And that uses up almost all of our mana. Maybe we'll do another eye. We'll do another eye right here. So they'll dig that out. How are we doing? Are we done outside? Perfect. It's time to entice some bandits. <laughs> um, any more new guys? Uh, population 8. So I don't think so. I think uh, we haven't attracted any more new guys. I was kind of hoping for a shaman. Man, uh, we could we could enlarge the library a bit more. But I, I don't know. It's getting pretty big. We don't want all shamans. That's the thing. We don't want to have too many shamans. And if we get some vampires, of course, they can do the same thing. Although vampires are probably better in the field. But whatever. Okay, so treasure. Let's do one treasure. Well, might as well do three. It doesn't matter. Whether you have one or ten it does, or twenty-five, it doesn't matter. Because even one treasure chest can hold all the treasure in the entire map, as far as I, as far as I know. So they will start to collect this gold in here. Ah, okay, we can actually put our last all-seeing eye but the main way we're gonna get mana this game anyway is by killing good guys at night you get the most mana from killing good guys at night um, but if we have a constant flow of guys coming in and attacking the dungeon like bandits as long as we only have one group of people coming in and attacking us at a time we should be pretty good I hope I could be totally wrong <laughs> I don't know we're, we're gonna try it anyway so yeah once the goblins or sorry, not the goblins. The imps grab some of this gold and bring it to these treasure chests. Uh, did we? Oh yeah, cost some, cost some a little bit of wood to build those. And it looks like we've almost got all the iron we need now to finish off the rest of our prison. Yeah, the prison's done. Uh, oh yeah, they need some more to build the rest of the torture room. That's done. Perfect. And bandits actually make great prisoners. Um, they tend to flee a lot, so that's really good. And uh, notice we're not putting down any traps yet. Uh, let's put some more lights over here. So we can actually see what's going on. It's great that we've got an eye here, but without light, it's kind of hard to see. So we'll do... And it just adds to that eerie feel when, you know, the bandits walk into the dungeon. They're like, oh, somebody's home. Like, the, the lights are on. Somebody is home. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love this game. It's so much fun. And, of course, we need to do... Oh, no. Torches need to be on the other wall. Yeah. Yeah, because you're about to enter, like, just, like, the training room, like, the main area of the dungeon. Uh, of course... The, our doggy, Dirty Dan, is, is standing guard. We could do another, uh, hmm, let's do another beast. Hopefully we get a bat. That'd be nice. Or even a cave bear would be okay, but the cave bear, cave bears can be a little bit uh, ram rambunctious, and they get a little ahead of themselves, and they, you know, start fights with dragons, and then dragons come and eat all your guys. So, um, uh, bats could do the same thing. Bats can go out of their way to, uh, of course, lure in humans. <laughs> or whatever, you know, cause cause all sorts of trouble. All they gotta do is kill one peasant. And I've seen it, bats and bats and uh uh the uh rooks or whatever they are, they can kill they can they can theoretically kill peasants and dogs and like innocent civilians basically, and that's what causes the humans to attack you. <laughs> oh, orcs are producing chain armor, orcs produces leather helm. Now of course we want our keeper to get some good equipment too as well. I don't know if he's actually been collecting anything. Oh yeah he has! So he's got a club. So plus four to hit no plus four damage and plus five to hit. So that's what those two numbers are. So that affects this number here and affects this uh, this number, I believe. Uh, let's just see here. Let's take control of the keeper for a second. Yes, so it affects their attack. How much dealt? And that's a plus four. I think it actually tells me if I click on it. 
Yeah, plus four damage and plus five accuracy. And I believe accuracy is... I'm trying to really understand this a little bit better this time. Accuracy is this one. Yes. So it actually gives us plus five. So our regular accuracy without a weapon would be 20. And I think all these numbers start to move up as we move up in levels naturally too as well. I think. <laughs> well, I, I want to understand a little bit better this time. I mean, we we, we did so well last time. And, I'm, and I have played this a few times. Not since the last time we played, but I did play it a few times before that. Um, and, and I checked it out before I started this last series, but I really haven't taken a real good close look at the numbers and what they all mean and how to maybe, you know, do a little bit of min-maxing with this game. Cause it's, it's, it's fun enough that, you know, you want to, you want to, you want to maximize your experience and maximize your ability to, uh, you know, beat up the bad guys <laughs> or the good guys rather, however you want to look at it. Okay. Some torches there. So on. it's getting nice and bright in here. It's much better anyway. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, that's much better. Much better, guys. Much better. And, uh, I guess, I guess we could put some, I don't know, I don't really care about torches in these hallways, but whatever. Yeah. Um, that looks good. That looks good. I don't mind the door there. That's good. And, uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna, we're gonna do some traps in here too, but I don't know quite what to do yet. I suppose we could do, like, some, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, da, 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 traps. Uh, the, uh, we're saying they need more trap types. Okay, so let's go through the traps. Terror trap will cause bad guys to run away. And it's a temporary thing. So, I don't, you know, like, it, it causes them to be fearful for a while and then they come back. So, it doesn't really stop them. Gas traps, gas traps can do a lot of damage. They cause poison damage as long as they're not lizard men or imps. Uh, lizard men, of course, are immune to poison and so are imps. And you can get rings and stuff that make your guys immune to as well. And I think dragons, poison, I don't know. Maybe there's dragons that are immune to, immune to it as well. Maybe some other creatures. And then, of course, the alarm trap, which causes a random creature of yours to appear where the trap is. Which would be fine if you could control which creature that was, but you can't. So it could be, it could be a goblin. <laughs> Which would be completely useless, like even against bandits, absolutely com completely useless. The web traps. The web traps can be really good in combination with either the boulder trap or the gas trap, because the web trap, of course, stops them in their tracks and they can't move. And, of course, uh, the gas trap fills up a room. They're like miasma, right? Whatever. And the boulder trap, of course, runs them over with a big boulder, which is perfect. So a web trap is a good one, but it has to be used in combination with something else. And a surprise... Oh, sorry. The alarm trap summons all minions. I'm sorry. The alarm trap summons all minions. So if I put that, like, right here, for example, and they hit it, all of our minions would gradually start working way through through this area and meet them in the hallways. And I don't find that useful at all. I'm more likely, well, I, I could put an alarm trap here. That would be okay. Because this is where I expect the big battle to be. Uh, can, we can't. That's weird. Can I not build traps yet? Oh, I think we actually need the skill. Yeah, there's actually something we have to buy first. And then the sur surprise trap is the one I was talking about. It teleports nearby minions to deal with the trespasser. Um, again, I, I don't find that one all that useful because it's completely random. Whoever. Oh, ah, we got a new creature, I think. Beast cage. Oh, it's planned. <laughs> um, oh, are we short materials? Oh, no. There it goes. It's up. So, uh, how are we doing? Population nine. We've got a new guy somewhere. Oh, two wolves. Wolves, I guess. Sachet. Sachet? Sachet? Sach. Sachet. No, we need to rename that. Okay, one sec. Okay, again, I don't make these names. I'm just... I'm just, I'm just filling in the gaps for you guys. So this is Bush did 911. <laughs> that's the name of the wolf. That's the name of the wolf. That's, that's the name of the wolf. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a Canadian. I'm told I don't know anything about it. Don't know anything. <laughs> okay. So how are we doing? Ogre level 13. Oh, actually we're right up there. <gasps> Keeper at 14. Oh yeah. Let's, let's attract some of those bandits. Oh, they pro, oh, gold's already going in. Okay. So here we go. Bandits are now hostile. I think they were hostile before. You know what? Let's take control of a wolf. I want to do a little bit of scouting around. We could buy another orc, but um, let's uh, let's take control of one of the wolves. It is daytime. Not a good time to be running around, but that's okay. Uh, let's take control of Dirty Dan. What are we in? Oh, yeah, we're in Dirty Dan. Possessed. <laughs> no, that's that's a dog. That's This is a wolf. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to go see. I think I know where the bandits are. I think. I have no idea. To be honest with you, because, well... Okay, so these are the guys we can buy, which is great. Some recruits. If things get a little hairy... Now, I wonder if, like, these guys will get attacked um, by other, uh, like, humans and stuff. I wonder if they'll get attacked there and then we lose the ability to recruit them. Um, no, I don't want to walk in the water. Whoops, my bad. Uh, oh, stop that. 
Bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think I saw... Oh, maybe it was over here. Yes, right over here. This could be a dragon, or it could be bandits. I know the bandits are exposed somewhere. Oh, there they are. Yes, so that is actually bandits. Okay, so we don't want to kill them yet. Like, we could go in and probably just murder them, and then they would never come back and spawn back and, and attack us again. But... I want them actually to attack us because we can actually get some great levels and some basic equipment from them. All right, so that's it. That's it for that edge of the mountain. Let's go down. Maybe just do a little bit of looking around. We don't want to draw any attention to ourselves. So it is daytime and I don't want to kill any friendlies either because, well, I don't know. In the daytime, you don't you don't get any. I think you get mana for killing uh, guys in the daytime, but you get way more killing the night, so yes, <laughs> we shall hunt at night. Especially, I'm a wolf. I hunt at night. That's what I do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking, taking control of the role. I am the wolf. Be the wolf. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's good. Uh, let's go back down. Let's go check the southern uh, side of the mountain, because usually there's good stuff. On oh, bandits, are they attacking? Uh, they're gonna attack soon because we've got how much gold? Oh, I can't tell right now, but we've been loading up on gold So they're gonna as soon as you start loading up on gold. They're like ooh money and they start coming after you so That is a good it can be a good thing now if you've got bandits humans dwarves and elves all attacking you That's a bad thing, but if you just have bandits attacking you That's a pretty good slow way to sort of build up your your guys and yeah I think we need we need and of course they have equipment too as well, right? So any equipment is good equipment at this point. Uh, let's go see what's down here. Hopefully we don't we don't screw everything up and find a dragon and have the dragon come in and kill everybody. Because that can happen and it does happen. Um, because this is a roguelike and yeah, roguelikes are evil. Very evil. All right. Slowly, carefully, quietly. They can't actually hear me so I could talk as much as I want. But I am the wolf. <laughs> I'm sniffing. I don't smell anything bad, but, you know, this game, I, I've been, like I said, I lost quite a few games before I played the last one I played, and it's just from doing stuff like this. Oh, oh, no, 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 this is exactly what I'm talking about. That would be a Cyclops. Son of a. <laughs> okay, go home, running home, running home, running home, running home. Does that, so now what's going to happen is the Cyclops knows that we're here. And he's going to come start attacking us. So what we need to do, we need to get out of the wolf, leave the wolf, send the wolf home. Uh, yes, you can go sleep. That's fine. And uh, minions discover a new location. Let's just see here. Oh, we found Nikomika, Nikomikias, the Cyclops. Oh, what a cute name. Oh, he's going to kill us. So uh, one of the best things against Cyclopses and stuff like that is boulders. So because they take a lot of hit points, like... They are brutally tough. We need traps. We don't have traps. Oh man. Okay, I gotta send, I gotta send Mr. Keeper off to do some uh, studying in the library. Sorry, dude. I know you want to keep training, but you're you're getting up there. You're like level 15. Yeah, you need to just go, uh, go start uh, getting some mana because we need it badly. Um, <laughs> this could be bad. So now we could have bandits and cyclops attacking us at any time. Now. Every creature that attacks your dungeon has a threshold. In other words, they will keep attacking until a certain requirement is met. For example, a I believe a dragon will keep attacking until they have killed a certain amount of people. And I believe that's the same with a cyclops. So they have to kill so many points in, in, in your friendlies, so many of your friendlies, before they will stop attacking. Whereas bandits have to collect so much gold before they will stop attacking. Right? Makes sense? Speaking of, we have 484 gold. We could actually build a our first little uh, statue. Well, I don't know if we need... We don't want too many people right now. But I would like the population up to 10. That would be nice. Um, we could do... Uh, yeah, see, wolves aren't going to be so good against a cyclops. Let's actually put a door here. <laughs> yes, let's put a door here because the cyclops won't come this way unless, unless he has a reason to. So maybe the door will kind of prevent that. I don't know. <laughs> Well, darn it. Okay, let's get some more of this gold here. Uh, they can go in and this way. Get some of this gold. Uh, I want to get those bandits attacking. Because that will give us some levels. And maybe we might be able to fight the Cyclops. But the Cyclops is one of those creatures that will kill our ogre in one or two hits. Like, he's scary tough. Scary tough. And even a high level ogre is going to have some trouble with him. Um, does our ogre have a weapon yet? 
does it, Shrek, sorry, does Shrek have a weapon yet? I'm gonna try and use names, I always forget about that. Ooh, he's got a sword. He has a sword and a leather armor. Uh, we need some first aid kits. I know I saw some here, I know they're working on it. Uh, maybe we should put some more guys working on training, but yeah, I don't know, or working on building uh, stuff in the manufactory, but that's okay. Um, still no shamans, still no shamans. Crazy, okay. Come on guys, uh, let's get some of that gold. I'm gonna speed it up just a bit here. We'll go speed normal. And uh, we need we need mana now. Uh, and what I actually we're gonna wait until maybe we'll wait until the night time. Hopefully we don't get attacked by Mr. Cyclops. And then if the bandits have not attacked us, that means they well they will soon. I mean we're getting all this gold here. They they're gonna attack. They have to attack. Um, but if they don't for whatever reason, we will send out wolves because this is still a new version of the game. Maybe they've changed that somehow. I don't know. Um, leather Helm, First Aid Kit, Club. Awesome. For more First Aid Kits. Hopefully my Keeper gets a couple of those. And uh, then if if they haven't come to attack, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to take control of one of the wolves and maybe go find some peasants to eat. And maybe do a little bit of scouting to see where the humans are. Lizard men. I don't like scouting the lizard men because as soon as they know where you are, they generally start attacking you. Oh, what's that? Is that a cloak? They've, yeah, they've added so much cool graphics now in the game. Uh, it's really cool. It's a robe. That's awesome. Cool. Um, first aid kits. That's why I like to have a spread out little equipment room. Yeah, leather helmet. Cool. I love it. And as far as I know, the keeper can use whatever armor and weapons he wants. Now, he doesn't get a bonus to using any of those, uh, anything special, like, like, like an ogre. An ogre gets a bonus for using a weapon, whereas an orc also gets a bonus for using a weapon. The advantage to the keeper is, once we get some magic, he can do some pretty awesome stuff in combination with using a bow and or a nice weapon. Uh, okay, goblin. All right. Are we at 10 yet? No, we're still not at 10 creatures. Like, what is, what's a hold up here, guys? Uh, maybe, let's see, is there anything else we can build that would kind of... I don't think that... Ah, we need a pigsty. We need a pigsty bat. That will increase our population max by four. Um, but we can't quite do that yet. Uh, ritual room can't do that yet. Yeah. So, hmm. We could build a statue. We could build a whipping post. Oh, we got to try that. I wonder, we should do the whipping post, like... Some place where, you know, near where all the all our guys are. So, like, right in here. <laughs> um, I don't know what... I mean, I know if, if they're unhappy, now that every creature has a morale value, and sometimes, ugh, they move around too fast with, when they're like this. Sometimes you can see, like, if they're unhappy, so you can only see when they're really unhappy or really happy. It really kind of bothers me. I really wish there was a way to see um, when, just regularly, like, like when they're neutral, if they're unhappy or happy. But if they're happy, they get a little happy face, and if they're unhappy, they get a un little unhappy face. And apparently, if they're unhappy, you can use a whipping post to whip them until they're happy. Because whipping whipping, whipping an ogre makes them happy. Apparently. <laughs> Didn't you know that whipping an ogre makes them happy? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so that's... Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Maybe we should put... Uh, let's get... You know what? I'm okay. I'm okay. <gasps> triggers! Oh, here we go! So, potential attack triggers. So this is one of the new features of this version. Is that not only can you see what... Okay, so you can see what you've exposed on the map. So we've exposed those orcs, we've exposed the Cyclops, and we've exposed the Bandit. But it also tells you what the triggers are and whether or not it's been... It's, whether it's been triggered. And we have triggered the gold. Which means they have noticed how much gold we have in our coffers and they will begin to attack. Which means maybe we should slow it down a little bit. It is nice! time too so if we kill anybody at night of course we get that bonus as well uh okay come on doggies no more sleepy it's time to go explore please go do some exploring you've slept long enough why oh oh they have to sleep until they're done oh uh, really well that's dumb oh pause okay here we go we got bandits attacking yay okay cool so these guys uh attack 23 defense 15 yeah we shouldn't have too much of a too much trouble, but we're going to put a team together anyway, uh, including our keepers. So the teams have changed a little bit different, like how you build teams. So, and I, I like the old way, but this way is okay. Um, I've only experimented with it one way, so I don't know. So we're going to build a new team. So, and then you actually take your guys and you drag them. I think you drag them. <laughs> Sorry, I did. I have, I've only done it once. Oh yeah, drag and drop minions here. Okay, so uh, hold on. Sorry. Something's not working. Uh, new team. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, right. Okay. No, no. Hold on. What's going on? I I've done this before. I think... Hmm. New team. I, I did this... I've done this before. I don't know why... Uh... Right. Okay, so... Oh, man. I'm out of time. That's okay. It doesn't matter. We're, we're going to commit to this battle with the bandits because this is our first battle. So, yeah. I don't care if we're out of time. Um, yeah. I don't know why I can't build a new team with my key. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, new team. There we go. Uh, deluxe here. Why? I, I did this. I played with it before, and maybe I just didn't play with it enough. There. Yeah. Drag them here to build a new team. Hello? Ah! Okay, there's a bug. I have three keepers in my team. Okay, so, hold on. Let's let's do that again. Can I, uh... <laughs> uh disband team. Okay. Disband team. Disband team. So, yes, all you do is you drag your guys from here to there. Sorry. Yeah, when you click new team, it tells you to drag it here, but that doesn't make any sense. No, no, no. You drag it over top of new team. So I, I did it before, it's just been a while. All right, so Ogre, yes, we want our uh, Shrek. Shrek is gonna be part of our new team. And we want um, all four of our orcs because, yeah, because of course we do. Because <laughs> they're our orcs. It's our legion of orcs. And uh, they're all substantially tougher than I think every one of those bandits, so that's good. Uh, did we get everybody? I don't think so. We're missing one level 13, guys. Sam is not real, I think. Come on, Sam, let's go. All right, so there we go. We've got our team. I think we'll leave our wolves out of this one. And then um, we can we can take control of our team, but I, I don't think we can actually tell command our team to do things, but we can take control of our team, which is weird. Before, you used to be able to have multiple teams and be able to tell them to do things without controlling them. And now, I don't think it works that way. So, whatever. So, what we can do is we can control our keeper. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I like the new system. I mean, I like where they're heading with it, but they need to make it so that you can uh, do some other fancy stuff. Uh, we're going to... The problem is, uh, those bandits, hopefully those doors slow, slow them down. I should have had my keeper... You know what? No, we're going to do. Leave control. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go back here, and we're going to tell our keeper to go train, and that way we can see what's going on at the same time, and he'll head towards the training room. <laughs> Stop studying. Go start training. Okay, good. Oh. Uh, training, please. There we go. Nope, you're going the wrong way, dude. Oh, why are we going so fast, too? Dude, you're going the wrong way. You are going the wrong way. Where's the bandits? <laughs> oh, great. They're killing imps. There's an imp leg on the floor. Uh, you know, we could prevent that. We could actually go like that. We can... Uh, can we not right-click on the doors anymore? Ah, there we go. Left click on the doors. Now we'll prevent them from going any further. Uh, where the gold? Oh, they killed an imp and got some gold. That's why. And they... <laughs> Stupid bandits. Okay, that's fine. We will prevent the imps from going and attacking. So, sorry, somebody died already. I told you you're going to die in this game. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, I told you. Yeah, the, we can see where they are because we can see which doors they've destroyed. So they've destroyed this door. Now they're, they're on this door. Then they're going to go here. So, yeah, uh... Why is my keeper, is he coming? Where is he? Okay, now now he's coming. So I could have taken control of my keeper. The problem is if I do that, then the entire army is gonna go meet the keeper somewhere over here as I'm moving down the hallway. Uh, this way I, I can have my keeper come over and then they don't have to, yeah, you understand. Because I want to keep all of our guys here because I think the bandits are gonna be at this door before our keeper actually gets there. And hopefully our keeper doesn't die. We gotta be really vigilant with our keeper. I hope I, I oh there's our whipping post cool bandits bandits we shall kill them prepare uh, so the ban uh, they're here oh here they come <laughs> I see you I see you um they don't stand a chance against the orcs and stuff as long as the keeper doesn't do something stupid we should be okay but this is a great way to get experience and the doors don't I don't think the doors actually cost us anything oh they do cost us five wood but there's basically unlimited wood there ah uh, oh nice very nice. Oh, uh, in peace. Ah, wish I could. I can control the imps. So, uh, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know where he's trying to go. So let's, uh, let's move Mr. Imp here. And then, whoops, nope. And then 
Lock. Whoops. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. Ah, leave control. Ah! No! Stop that. Sorry. Red Hills. I'm trying to save some imps lives, but yeah, this is this is not going to be easy. I want to get them behind the door. Stupid imps. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Keeper's getting some weapons. Ah, I keep clicking, misclicking. I'm under attack by bandits. I know that. Thank you. Okay, so leave control. Thank you very much. And I guess I can't lock that door because now my keeper can't get through. Bandits demand 737 gold for not attacking. Oh, this is new. This is new. Ah, oh, that's interesting. No. Um, I want you guys to attack because... Oh, I already had an imp out here. Never mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, they killed... Oh, they're killing our wolves. <gasps> Sorry, wolves. Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Well, we kind of... The wolves were going to wake up. I, I didn't really pay too close of attention. They're just beasts. They're just beasts. <laughs> we're going to go through a lot of creatures. Um, but eventually we may end up with, you know, a lucky harpy or something again because that was amazing. Oh, that's it? That's it? Really? Ah, <sighs> okay. So, oh, we got a cave bear. Oh, we got a cave bear. <laughs> uh, the cave bear will go and beat up those those bandits if we're not careful. Um, a bat corpse? Oh, we did have a bat at one point, apparently. There's a bat wing and a bat corpse lying around. Fantastic! Okay, well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> it will get better. Um, that didn't go quite... Oh, here we go! Cave bear is, is eating... Oh, wow, the cave bears are so tough. Crazy! Um, so there's got to be some good loot there. Good loot! Mad loot! All right, so let's go. Orders. We are going to fetch all this. this there's going to be corpses. And of course, the corpses. You want to collect the corpses because, of course, we get undead. Undead. So we must have gained a few more guys, too, as well. I don't know why we can't collect the rest of that stuff. That's weird. Orders. Fetch items. That's weird. Why, why can't we? Oh. <laughs> there, uh, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of vultures there, stupid vultures. Get out of the way! Ugh, okay. That's fine, guys. I, You know what? We're taking it slow. So far, so good. I I, I made a couple boo-boos there. I, I'm wondering if maybe we should move our training room here for this for these bandits. Just for while we're doing the bandits and then move our training room back. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if, we, if we dismantle this training room, how, do we get back any materials, I wonder? We should test that. Let's test that right now. <laughs> Remove construction. So a training room costs 20. We have currently have 463. So if I remove this block, um, no, we get nothing back. That's disappointing. Because what I was thinking is we could do our training room right here. I wish we could disable this, uh, this training room and, you know, make a training room here temporarily while we're dealing with this whole bandit. Because we want bandits to come and attack, but we don't want them to blast through every door and kill a bunch of imps every time. Because, and, and wolves, like, that's just ridiculous. Uh, but we don't want to waste the materials. We don't have unlimited materials right now, so I guess... Yikes, okay, that's fine. We can always get more iron. We can, we can always get more iron. Okay, so that that's fine. Let's see. Uh, did we get... Uh, okay, so the cave bear... We're going to name these guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Keeper RL. It's a blast, and uh, it's going to get messy. And I'm going to try not to lose. But I can't make any guarantees. Ooh, just bones. <laughs> okay, guys. Take care.